Alright, hey guys, so today is not going to be a gaming video. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these, and I'm going to be a little kind of off on my skills of doing this, but this is going to be a tutorial for something that I feel as though, I don't know, I use a lot, but I don't see a, a lot of other people doing it, so I don't know if other people know how to do it, or if other people don't like the effect but regardless I'm gonna throw out a tutorial for you guys if you're interested to learn how to do this so today what I'm gonna teach you is a effect like I like to consider myself a Fox 3d uh, text effect so pretty much um, what I have here is a bunch of sample text and uh, you can see up up above them uh, which font I'm using for each one but the choice of fonts goes from uh, a stencil-y font to a pretty normal font but kind of like blocky to a more like little rounded off and more uh, bold font and then to your last which would be a little bit more exotic more fancy you know so this will show you how the effect will look on each one of them each one has their own kind of uh, problems in which you have to kind of work with so um, we're gonna go right into the effects. I have uh, some groups over here. If you guys don't set up groups when you're using, I'm gonna actually zoom this out a little so that we can see everything. Um, so, um, if you guys don't use groups in Photoshop, it's a very good thing that you should get used to doing because if you have, say, a group of text like I do, I have a group of text, but instead of having to um, set up the effect for each one all you can you can see that all I had to do was set up the effect the effect for one um, one effect through the the group folder now if there's a specific one that's not gonna work um, perfectly with it obviously you're going to have to do that manually but it's a lot easier if you have a, um, a group so anyway uh, we're gonna click on this to view the effect and there you go you can see it's a little I'm gonna click it on and off so you can kinda of see it <clears throat> I don't know how well you can see it but it's it's kind of like it's not it's kind of a subtle effect it's nothing too big but it's nothing that'll make it kind of like out of the way like if you if you see like cinema 4d and a couple of uh, other like um, people who make fonts in blender things like that thing other kind of programs in which people use to make uh, big 3d fonts and they have a lot of depth to them and they can work out pretty well at times sorry about that that was my phone um, <clears throat> they can work out pretty well at times but sometimes they can be a little obtrusive trying to put them into certain documents and a lot of people just kind of do that for everything that they do and there's a time and place for everything so this kind of goes with almost anything if you're having something and you just want to kind of have that little extra feeling to it like something that'll make it kind of you know bump up a little so it's not just straight up flat text like flat ui or something um this is what you'll you'll try and do so i will make a new document with one straight text in the middle so that uh sorry that was a wrong button um we're gonna make a new document and get this here so we're gonna put some text in the middle we're probably gonna just fill this with black real quick or blue whatever it was my last color um... we're gonna grab another font we're gonna use a nice little font this is the font babis or Baybass. i don't know how you pronounce this it's it's kind of a weird name font but it's kind of like a default font for me uh... for like a baseline and then i kind of move on from there um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type, I don't know, what do we, what should I type as our font for today? Um, alright, well I just looked up and it says, uh, warning, so let's do warning. And let's increase this. And center it real quick. Alright, so we got our text here in the middle, warning. Uh, we can change the color to it to maybe like a yellow or something. So that it's kind of like, you know, warning. And, alright, so 
let's get on to the effect so the effect is literally nothing that you you should be worried about it's absolutely not hard to do you'll learn within the next minute I, I swear to you if you don't learn it I'll do it again or you can review this again but literally look at that you already kinda get an effect you guys know how to use drop shadows that's pretty much normal for normal standards so what you're gonna do the size is the the number that changes the how how wide the the shadow is allowed to go the spread is how dark like how how much the the shading is spread out like how dark it'll be coming out from the the center and the distance is actually how far it is from the the main subject so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the size down uh, you're probably like what doesn't that kind of defeats the purpose right no so we're going to change the angle to 90 degrees and don't just understand that this effect can be done at any other degrees you, this can be done at i don't know um negative 90 degrees uh 180 degrees anything it doesn't matter okay so you can see that when i set this to 90 you can kind of see it and it's right there now the bigger the font is is obviously the more you're going to have to work with it it's not always going to work with the same thing like everything else kind of fell in place a little bit to an extent and the other ones for the sample ones but that's because i set them up correctly with the sizing um so what you're going to do is you're going to either do one of two things this does not always work but you can all you can usually try this first to solve your problems unless you have a specific thing that you want to kind of go for so first thing i go for is soft light soft light will immediately make make it kind of a a different color that'll kind of match the background now if your text is kind of like a color like this like the yellow that i'm using it's obviously not going to work out too well because yellow can obviously not have a shade of well like light blue so soft light may or may not work in every equation so i can go back to multiply set the opacity up so that it's more visible and what you're going to go is you're going to go into here into the color picker and we're going to click on this yellow with our uh, ink drop tool all you have to do is just scroll out of your color picker it's perfectly fine and then we're going to make this a lighter color something like i don't know let's say right here and you can kind of see it not too much but it's it's also it's kind of visible so if i were to click it off and click it back on you can see it you can see it there so if you want to make this more prominent you can kind of push it out with the distance the distance will make it go out more but understand that this is nothing but a drop shadow underneath it's nothing but just a almost it's it's nothing but an exact copy of the text directly underneath directly in an adjacent line going straight what is that vertically down yeah it's going straight vertically down or horizontal whichever way you choose to angle it so you want to be mindful of how far it's coming out but you can if you if you push it to somewhere like this it kind of is okay but you can see underneath this R it's it's kind of visible so obviously you can't have 3d here which would mean that it's kind of 3d and then have this little rim here so you have to work with it until you get it to exactly how you want it to i'm not going to keep working with it because you know sometimes it can get annoying so we're going to drop this back up to like a brighter yellow just so you guys can see it still and that should be pretty much it so once you get done you can set up a style we'll name this style uh let's see fox 3d and we're going to click ok back out and when you go for anything all you have to do I can uh, clear this layer style and just click on it and it's perfectly fine it's right there now what you may want to do if you're going to do this if you're going to set up a style yourself you're going to want to probably um, I can't edit it right now I don't know what I'm doing um, you're, about, you're probably going to want to set up set it up so that it's it's just straight um, soft light to start with because 
self light and black that's that's default um, so if you set it to self light and black it's going to most likely start off at where you kind of are going to want it to be at when you're when you're done like when you click on it it's probably going to be where you want it to be at so that's pretty much it guys i hope you and at least gain something out of this video considering i was kind of like stumbling along on my own over here trying to get myself uh, understanding exactly what i was doing but i know hopefully you guys got something so that was it that was another tutorial for um the fox 3d effect that i've been kind of using you can kind of see it in my banner um and a lot of other things that i've done if you look around on things i've done you'll see it uh here and there and it's just the effect that i like to use it's kind of like kind of my staple i guess if you want to call it that so um that's about it all right so i'll see you later guys peace